my special guest, Carol. Good, Good morning. Good morning, Carol. <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> How's everyone doing on this wonderful, it's going to be a bright and sunny day, Friday morning, even though we got some snow and wind overnight. Yes. But we made it here. We did. I had to wait till my driveway got cleared out or I would have been hung up in the car. Well, Randy got up early and cleared ours out. <laughs> and look, Carol brought me a blueberry muffin this morning for my breakfast. So I can't wait. I'll eat it as soon as we're done. <clears throat> Randy's having issues with my phone. All right. We got a bunch watching here this morning. Good. So, good morning, Tris, Jan, Lisa, Leslie, Roxanne, Donna, Jill, Beth Ann, Marla, Valene, Mary Ann. Um, good morning. Oh. Another Amy Healy is watching. Here. Uh, the phone volume needs turned down. Okay. Usually we're prepared for that, but uh, <laughs> somebody didn't turn their phone down. <clears throat> so good morning, Amy. Amy has a breakfast good of champs. Good morning, Amy Healy. Uh, <laughs> they're leaving on their honeymoon next week. Yeah, so. they're going to Cancun. Ooh. I'd asked to go along, but it's our honeymoon, uh -huh. and I thought that would be yeah. wrong. Yeah. Hi, Lori. Emily. Uh, she says she can't wait to see the bag. I know. It's so much fun. Um, I'm not sure who it is, but it says one week and I'll be sewing with slippers on. Oh, someone's retreating at um, at um, Amy's birthday, birthday. Re retreat. Cool. Uh, Karen, good morning. Deanna, Carol, Martha, Cindy, Lois. Um, um, Connie, happy Friday to you. Perry. Uh, Happy Friday! Kathy out in Washington State. Sherry, Debbie. Um, good morning on another snowy morning. Yeah, this one wasn't so bad, but uh, it was a nice fluffy snow. A good. nice fluffy snow. <laughs> good morning, Steve, Cindy, uh, Debbie, another Cindy, uh, Jolene, Debbie. Oh, they people got up early. Cin they Cindy, did. Rita. They wanted to see you with me. <laughs> uh, Sharon, Jolene, Debbie. Uh, she says she has this pattern, couldn't figure it out, so this is great. Excellent. Good. Good morning, Melanie, Katie, and Megan. Megan is excited for a retreat also. Oh, awesome. It is going to be so much fun next week for Amy's birthday retreat. <laughs> and we if still you still have spots available. Exactly. So you can come and sew for the day or come and stay overnight. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, go home Sunday. Roxanne, it says it's 53 and cloudy in Oregon this morning. So Ooh. that could set up for a pretty nice day. It could. That 53 would be beautiful for a January. 53 at 6.03 a.m., that's not too bad. No, I know. I think it's probably going to get warmer than that during the day then. All right. Well, like I said, Carol brought me this beautiful blueberry muffin. I can't wait to eat it later. And of course, I got to start my day with my diet yeah, Mountain, Mountain Dew. I used to. I used to. All right. So Carol made this Mondo bag. Isn't it pretty? Huge. You could fit a small child in there and take them where you need to go. Great for like beach bag or or yeah. put your quilt in there when you're coming for show and sew and tell. Sew and tell, yes. Or when you're going to uh, sew at retreat or anything like that. Yeah. A great bag. They said you could put a set of shoes in there and a outfit or something. So you might do that just in case you get snowed in somewhere. This would be a great snow bag to keep yeah. in your car with your survival exactly. kit in it. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So... We're going to go through what, first we're going to go through what we have available this morning. So you can get the Mondo Bag Fun Pack. And what that is, is your pattern and your um, interfacing, interfacing that's marked Great. to make it. Yep. So $24, sold $100. You get the Quilt Smart Mondo Bag Fun Pack, which will make you one bag. Then... If you've 
already have your pattern for your bag and, or you want to make more than one or if you want to make another one we also have just the panel so it only comes with the panel you would have to get the fun pack to get your pattern the panel is eleven dollars and the panel will make one bag which is sold 101 so if you want to make a couple bags go ahead and get your fun pack add on a panel you can make as many as you want then we also have a fabric pack. Um, you'll see when we're done, I'm doing mine in the blue fabric that we had on last Tuesday for Treat Yourself Tuesday. It's a really pretty mm -hmm. blue. So you get 16 two and a half inch strips, which is enough to do your bag and four strips for your handles. Mm -hmm. You get a one and a quarter yard of your lining fabric and then one and a quarter yard of fusible fleece which is the inside of your bag mm -hmm. so you'll get the fusible fleece your lining and 16 two and a half inch strips 44.99 gets you the fabric pack does not include your pattern or your panel it's just the fabric sold 102 yes or if you want to use your own fabric because that looks great scrappy mm -hmm. We have just the fusible fleece. It takes a yard and a quarter. So we have that for $12.69. $12.69 will get you a yard and a quarter of the fusible fleece, and it does have the instructions in there. Um, basically, you just use your iron with steam, mm -hmm. and that makes that stick really well. And that is have... sold 103. <laughs> sold 103. How many projects do you have that you have maybe a two and a half, couple two and a half inch squares left, or right, you know, or a charm pack? Or right. So you also. have leftover squares, right. and you can make it look uh, scrappy. Right. All right. I'm going to just catch up on a few more names here that have joined us. Good morning, Carol, Peg, uh, Brenda, Triss. Uh, her hubby made her an English muffin. <gasps> Very mm. nice. Um, Emily. Good morning, Becky, Sandra. Um, Catherine, let's see, we've got people buying, so I'm trying to sort through the wolves that are just joining us. Kathy's joining us from right next door, right across the On the, the other side of that wall. Yep, so she, her and a, a bunch of her friends are retreating with us, so. They're having a good time over there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, well, what else can you do in the snow? Exactly. Roxanne, yes. If you ordered it today, we could hold it until the first. So when for when you get back from vacation, just put that comment on there. Um, or Randy will make a comment that will hold it for you. So she says she's leaving in the morning for vacation. Hopefully, it's somewhere warm, or maybe it's to your the grandkids or, or wherever. But, or uh, maybe you go out to Utah skiing. <laughs> that that is could be for a lot of people. Um, Marla says Mondo is the only bag that I have never made. Oh, well, here you go. Or, or it is the only bag. Oh, I'm sorry. It is the only bag. She said it was easy and I love the bag. So It is. So it's thank a you for that. Great bag. Um, let's see. Good morning, Gladys. Catherine, uh, Helen is checking in. Good morning. Helen and Tina both are checking in from Louisiana. Good morning. Um, <laughs> Valene is saying hi to her mom, Brenda, which is not actually her mom, but there is a little inside joke here, so we'll let it go at that. Um, and, and it's at my expense, so that, that's all good. Uh, hi, Peggy, uh, Roxanne, uh, wow, 2.70 at 8 a.m. I'm not sure what the 270 at 8 8. People yeah. watching. Oh, okay. All right. I, sorry. I the sometimes you have to yeah. tell him. the some <laughs> maybe the snowmobile snowblower fumes or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I Sharon. Um, yes, Emily. It is free shipping Friday. So thank you for reminding us of that. Yep, free shipping Friday. So go back if there's anything you've been thinking about. Now's the time. Uh, Roxanne <clears throat> is going on a cruise to Cozumel. So. Oh, Ooh, that nice. fun. So, so Roxanne and Amy are both going to be in the warmth next next well, week. have fun. Yes, have fun, both of you guys. And uh, put on your sunscreen because you don't want to get burnt. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. Uh, Lori, <clears throat> up at 6 a.m. out on the West Coast. 
Um, well, Sherry's headed to Hawaii next week. So. Oh, well, why are we here in <laughs> the snow? Well. Uh, Brenda says she she's working, so she's not reading the comments. Well, you can come back later. Or she's just reading the comments and doesn't have the volume. Oh, that could be. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. That's what I would be if I was working. And Nancy's checking in. She goes, I've made several Mondo bags. Use the soft and stable to give it a little more structure. Which you can. Yep. And we'll talk about that. Good morning, Cindy. Um, uh, we will get your month five in the cart for you, Catherine. I'm putting that down on my list again. Those will be done today. Notice how he emphasized mm -hmm. that. And looked at you. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Another thing with the Mondo bag, if you have, if you want to buy charm packs. It will work charm, with charm. Two charm packs, cutting them up. Right, so... What we're putting in our fabric kit is 16 strips, 12 of them you'll cut into squares, right. and the other four will be matching, that will be for your handles. Right. But you can also use five inch squares, or you can use fat, fat quarters quarter, yeah. and cut them. Yeah. Yes. It'll just make your bag look different because it'll be bigger squares instead of the smaller uh, ones when you're putting it together. Yeah. Right. Uh, good morning, Carol. Jean is checking back in. Um, and I'm not going to go off course, but no, I'm not even going to go there about Marianne and, and her date from whenever. So <laughs> I, I think I, it may have got, got it may off. have got settled last night, but I'm not going to go there be off track last night. <laughs> because we, uh, we've got a lot to get to this morning and, uh, Jeannie's checking in from Beulah, Colorado. Well, so good morning, Jeannie. Well, thank you guys for getting up early and mm -hmm. tuning in to see us. Uh, we're going to walk you through all the steps that you need to make your own Mondo bag. Like I said, you can do two and a half inch strips, you can do charm packs, you can take fat quarters and cut your own. You can also, instead of using the fusible fleece like you did in yours mm -hmm. and we're showing you this morning, you can do Annie Soft and Stable. Okay. And that's going to make your bag stand. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you need so, a bag that stands, right. or, and sometimes you don't. Right. So it's however you want to do it. Zeta does have a, a, a comment here. She says you can put a cardboard divider in them to transport your wine while when you go boating. <gasps> Good. So, Thank you for that. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Good morning, Karen. Uh, Jean says no, not solved. Um, Alicia says bag making is intimidating for her, so I... Oh, She's well, just going to suck it up and try me. making one. This is why we put the videos out. So once you get <clears throat> your supplies or your pattern and you mm -hmm. start to do it, go back and watch this video. And, and then I watch a little bit, stop. Mm -hmm. Do that. Mm -hmm. Watch a little bit, stop. And then do that. And it makes it easy for you. Uh, right. Catherine's wondering if he can do a zipper pocket. I don't think. <sighs> yeah. I was wondering about a snap. Like, you probably could do a snap. And yeah. it does have you directions for putting a pocket in the bag. We're not going to do that because yeah. it's optional and it takes a little more time. Yeah. But they in the directions, it does show you how to do a pocket. Okay. All right. I think we're caught up. All right. So when you get your fun pack, you get your pattern, and then you get this interfacing, pre-printed mm -hmm. interfacing. Mm -hmm. And a few couple months ago I showed you the easy piecing grid this right. is the same concept right. so one side is smooth mm -hmm. and the other side is bumpy that's your fusible side so you get you will cut it up and have four, four. of these four by mm -hmm. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve four by twelve forty eight squares right so when you cut up your 12 two and a half inch strips, you will get 192, let me check, 192 squares, which is just enough to do your four. Mm -hmm. So you'll actually end up, if you buy our fabric pack, whoa, that's okay. <laughs> you'll have four different colors or four different fabrics to put around. So. What I was doing yesterday when I was making it is you would need four of each one. Mm -hmm. So just I go. just take my, and I'll go, I lay them out. One, two, three, four. Then I'll go to my next one. 
and go like one, two, three, and then just kind of spread them out and lay them out. And you'll do that for all 12 and then you'll have them all laid out and they won't be touching. Right. Once you have all of your squares laid, you'll take it to your ironing or you lay it over by the lay it on your ironing board when you do off. it. And it's it's not that wide, no. so it will lay on your normal ironing right, board. Right, right. Steam is your friend, mm -hmm. and you're just going to press your iron until you get them all stuck down, mm -hmm. and you'll do all four. So once you do that, it is going to look like this. So yep. here's all my squares pressed down. See, they don't go anywhere. They're right on there. So then, just like when we did our easy piecing grid, see how you just flip it? Mm -hmm. And you sew your quarter inch. Now, when you do this, bag directions, you want to do your short way first, first, all the way across. Then we'll do the long way. So I've done some of this. So Carol's just going to sew these last two seams. So you just fold it over, sew your quarter inch. And then you come to your next one, fold it over, do your quarter inch. Okay. And I have the quarter inch foot with the side guide, so it makes it super easy. Mm -hmm. It's faster it's, than me. It sounds, you don't have to go that fast. <laughs> it sounds like some some of the others have put zippered pockets in. So, okay. So they're talking between themselves All that right, they cool. will uh, uh, share how to do those. Um, Marianne says you do four of those panels. Yes, you do four panels. Okay. And that's what comes in the, uh, when you buy the panel, you'll get four of these plus two strips for handles out of your stabilizer. Okay. Just making sure I don't have any other comments here. But, uh... And I'm just going to be scrolling through the, the items that we do have for sale this morning. Um, it is free shipping Friday. It's been free shipping Friday all week. So <laughs> if you haven't taken advantage of it yet, now will be the time to do it. All right. So Randy can turn the camera a little bit this way. So now you have your four panels. See how we sewed all going the short way all the way across. Then we're going to sew the other way, how it just flips open. But down here on the one edge of the stabilizer, see there's arrows? So this arrow here is going up. This one's going down. If when you fold this and sew it, oh, first thing, you got a clip. 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 Here, I got it. Oh, that's a right. Got a clip. So here's the seam, Carol sewed in between these four rows what you do is you just clip that stabilizer down to your sewing line so we're just going to clip that and it's really easy because it's just stabilizer mm -hmm. so you're just going to want to clip that in between your rows and i've already done my other ones so when you flip it they nest. So we want the arrow points down. So we want all of these, this side to go down and then this a next one to go up. So we're going to sew it where all of these nest going the opposite direction and the same direction as the arrow. Okay. Uh, good morning, Carmel. She's checking in from so I should say good, good evening, evening, Carmel. Carmel. That I, I probably will never get used to that uh, speaking to somebody else in the the another hemisphere. So <laughs> uh, don't get the chance to do that too often. And since Carmel's watching, she's the winner because it's summer there. We're all going to get on the bus oh. and go to Carmel's. Good morning, Diane. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, she, uh, Emily says, do you clip the sta stabilizer and the fabric too? 
So because you're putting on squares, the squares don't necessarily match. So when you fold it and you clip, you're, there's not going to be fabric there. But if there is, yes, you clip through the stabilizer and the fabric. You're just going to clip at every intersection. Can we do each all of them? Or yep, we'll just show that one and okay. then we'll do another one. Okay. All right, so see how Carol sewed all the way down a quarter inch. The arrow was going this way, so all of her seams are going up. Here, all of the seams are going down, and it's a down arrow. Now, we'll turn it for the next one. I don't know if I did that. <laughs> really? I don't know. It really makes it so when yes. you go put the bag together, yes. all of your seams, seams are, they're yeah. already nesting. I probably did. But. You probably did. <laughs> so this one's already right. going down. So the other one has to go up. Go up. Okay. And we're going to keep yeah. going. And Carmel, so actually, it's... Uh, it's morning. It's 1 a.m. there, so oh, it's oh, very early morning. Very early morning. Anybody else have any questions? Uh, not right now yet, it doesn't look like. I'm not as fast. That's all right. You're doing good. You just caught a little bit of thread that's coming out oh. from underneath. <laughs> Imagine that. Thread. Imagine that. And then you just don't want to get this caught right. in there. There you go. So I don't think there's open sew today, is there? No. You think well, Ginge is coming? No, she called yesterday oh. and said that she's not. Darn. She might be watching this morning, though. Mm, she She's one that likes to watch, but uh, not participate. So. <laughs> she is saving all of her wisdom for herself. She's not sharing it with the rest of us. Ginge, I'm setting. Sometimes Randy tells me that to save my <laughs> wisdom for myself and not to participate so much. I think he tells but me I'm that meaning, it, meaning it in a good way for Jen. <laughs> I think he tells me that. <laughs> so whenever Carol comes into the store, she goes, just me, so we know it's her. So you don't have to get up and run to the door. <laughs> she asked Randy for a personalized ruler yesterday, the other day. Yeah. He goes, do you want me to put just me on it for your name? <laughs> All right, so we've done two seams. Now it's this last one. You're con gonna continue on, and the way your seam is, yeah. it's going with the arrows. So okay. you have one more seam to do. Okay, okay. Margaret is checking in from Chile, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Margaret, are you new to us? I, I don't recognize your- Hi, Margo. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't believe so. Okay. So most of these people you can put a face with? No, not most of them I, I, I can put a face with. But, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them I can put a voice with, though. They're, yeah, because they're just our friends. Gotcha. Sometimes oh, they call us on the phone and talk to us. Yes, Margaret. Are you good? Oh, my God. Right. Margaret says she, you get your edge one. she is new to us. So, so this one needs to go up. Yeah, but it was. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So, so welcome to the... If you the, miss one, it's not the end of the right. world. Welcome to our uh, madness here with uh, Breakfast with Amy, Margaret. We're here almost every Friday. Um, sometimes we switch it to Saturday if it's strip club Friday. But most of the rest is always Friday morning at 8 o'clock. Leah is checking in from Washington. I get a bee. Good morning. All right. Good morning, uh, Linda. Leslie's checking in from Nebraska. Leslie's been over here to see us before. Um, and Deb is checking in, and I think we're going to be down to see Deb tomorrow morning if, uh, if weather good. permits us to, which I think it will. All right, so Carol has sewn all the seams. Now, down here on this side, there's a couple more arrows. So it's telling you what way to press your long seams. So they're all going to get pressed this way. Okay. So you might have to heat the iron up again. Okay. It might have went off. So when you're done pressing, you end up with four panels like this. Steam is your friend. So if you use steam on your iron, it makes it lay so nice and flat and makes that stabilizer really nice and soft. So you've got your four panels done. 
and I will show you how we're going to do our next step. Soon as Carol gets done pressing that fourth one. Good morning, Tammy. You're okay. Leah checking it. She says she's at a quilt retreat this weekend. Um, uh, good morning, Deanna. And uh, yeah. All right. Perry said that Chris and hers showed off their personalized rulers at a retreat last weekend. Oh, so. very nice. So thank you. Well, you know where to send them if they want to get ones of their own. So on the back of your stabilizer that you've done with your sheets, here in the corner, this one has a bottom corner. And then it also has another mark that says top point hand stitching or uh, handle stitching line. So each of your panels, you'll have to look for those marks. Bottom center. Bottom center. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to make it look like an L. So you're going to take two of your things. You're going to find the bottom center, which okay. is here. Oh, um, right. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're fine. <laughs> so if you match up your two bottom centers, Here's a bottom center, here's a bottom center. See how it makes an L? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to sew these together, right sides together. Again, our bottom centers are matching. And because we followed the arrows, our pieces already nest. So you're gonna sew from this corner up to the next corner line. So you're going to sew from this corner where it intersects, where your lines intersect, to over here where your lines intersect. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing with the other two. So we'll find our bottom center mark and our bottom center mark. See how they match up right here. We're going to put them right sides together. See how it's still making the L. And because we pressed, our seams nest. So you're going to sew again from the intersecting to the intersecting. Now I just went to that corner right yep. there. Yep. And then I'm just going to finger press it, but you could take it to your to your iron and press it. Uh, Jolene's got a question. When using a gift certificate, how or where do you put the number in? Tried using on app purchase. Does that make a difference? Did you purchase it on Comment Sold or did you purchase it on our website or call in? It does make a difference because if you called in or used it on our website, we have to manually transfer that over to Comment Sold. But when you're doing it through Comment Sold, when you go to check out, it'll ask you for a coupon code and then click that and put in your code. But if you are having problems, Jolene, just call us after nine o'clock and Amy can walk you through that. I can. All right, so now we have two L's. If you flip it over again, and match up where it says bottom center so they're all four together <clears throat> so now you have you're all four so it looks like a pinwheel yeah so all you have to look for is <clears throat> that bottom center and you're going to be matching that up to bottom center so you have that square right there and then you're going to sew these together right sides together so what I do is I find where those four squares are, put a pin, put a clip, and then you're going to nest your seams. Those clips are really good. They do, they work. I love my binder clips, mm -hmm. which you can find in our comments old store. Again, you're gonna sew from where your intersecting is right here over to this side where they're intersect. So you're going to just sew from there to there. Okay. 
to hook your front of your bag. And uh, let's see, Wanda's checking in from Kentucky this morning. Uh, Janice is at a retreat this weekend also. Wonderful. Good for you. I'm usually barefoot, so I, can't, I should take my shoe off. You know, I think a lot of people sew barefoot. Yeah. Yeah, Jolene bought it on Comet Sold, so you should be able to use it on this platform. When you go to, to check out, yep. put in a coupon, that you have a coupon. Mm -hmm. It is free shipping Friday. And if you notice when you're sewing, it has these quarter inch lines on the side. So if you're not for sure or you're always hesitant on where your quarter inch is, if you just stitch on that line, you're sewing a perfect quarter seam. So she sewed right across. And like I said, there is a quarter line. So you could just sew right on that line. So we sewed where our four squares met. That's beautiful. And look how good the corners are. And look how good it comes out. And they're all now. Yeah. Okay, so now I do happen to have two squares together. That doesn't bother me. In the whole scheme of things, you'll never notice. Yeah, nope. yeah you want to press okay. that? Because steam is our friend. Steam is our friend. It always makes everything lay so nice. Lisa says definitely a barefoot driver. Yep. <laughs> Uh, most of us are. You feel like you have a little more control over your foot pedal speed when you don't have your shoes on. All right, so while she's doing that, when you sew your inside of your bag, you can do it two ways. I found that on the directions that you follow, and they have really great directions um, don't just look at the pictures. You can read. It does very good at describing it. When you do the inside of your bag, if you're doing it with a panel and you have two and a half inch strips, your panel for your inside, which you also have four of, just like your outside, measures eight and a half by 24 and a half. So you can just cut it at that. If you are using... Um, you know, maybe your seams aren't quite there. Maybe you're using a five inch square instead of the two and a half. Mm -hmm. What you can do is first measure one of your panels okay. and see what it measures and then cut it the same size for the inside of your bag. Now I found mine because I was using the grid and two and a half. It was eight and a half by 24 and a half. And that's what I cut my, mm -hmm. my inside. So when you're doing your outside of your bag, that is really pretty, isn't it? Is it is pretty. I like that. It kind of looks springy. It does. It looks springy, but it's also where you could use it all year long. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to fold our bag up. So I take one of my longs, and uh, if you look on the back, you see dotted lines. Can you see those? There's a dotted line here. There's a dotted line. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It goes I don't... all the way around. Can you point them out again one yep. more time? I... So here's a dotted line. Okay. Dotted line. All right. So when you fold your bag and find your dotted line, it tells you that I'm going to sew this together so i have a short piece and a long piece so when you fold it and again they nest so just nest your first one and then you can just come through here and move over a couple and nest and then when you get to this end you're going to go to your stitching line and then tie a knot, back stitch or tie a knot, because that's your corner of your bag. Okay. Um, Catherine says she's having problems with her control box walking away. 
Um, I think oh. the uh, presser foot pad might be an answer for you. Yes, we and, do sell a presser foot pad. And we've had that on uh, probably a little over a month or so ago on mm -hmm. our comments sold. So it would be in the comments sold store yet. Uh, since it's free shipping. And Tris says uh, need socks. Uh, uh, well, yeah. This uh, time of year. Karen says, is it a two and a half inch grid that we're using? Yes. It's a two and a half inch grid that is made <clears throat> special yes. for the... So Quilt Smart makes this grid special for the Mondo bag. That's why it has the those four arrows. corners to match. It actually had that printed on the panel. It has on your corner where we'll hook our handles. And then it has those dotted lines so you know when you're folding it where to sew. So it really is a very good panel system to help you sew the bag together. Do you need the other ones? I'll show them out again how to do them. And Mary Ann says you are folding on the dotted line, correct? Yes. Okay. The dotted line. So Carol sewed right here. So see how we had a long panel next to it and that dotted line was folded. And then you sew on this one. Then you're just going to keep going. It's making the bottom of the back. It's making the bottom. So we sewed this one. Now we fold over here. I know I'm right because here's my dotted line on my fold. I line up this side. And because we pressed it the way it said, guess what? We nest again. So you just start here. It nests. Come over a couple. It nests. Can I take you home and you can pin for me at home? Too? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? So I, and here's my other tip. I like sewing on this end first. Yes. So when I'm down here, I come to the end and make a knot. Knot. Okay. So. Yep. So let's just nest this seam right here at the end. So then you can start sewing where they intersect here mm -hmm. and go all the way down to here and make a knot. Alrighty. Pam is, is I, I, she's listening or maybe watching now, but she's been listening while scooping snow away oh. from the front of her house. So good morning, Pam. Good morning, Barbara. She's working harder than all the rest yeah. of us. Yeah. Um, Catherine's uh, wondering what do you, you do if you're using five inch squares, cut them into force? You could. Yeah, that's what I did. You I, could. Or I, she does explain in there that you can just lay your five inch uh, square over four squares on the grid. Okay. okay. And then sew it that way. And rock. It's just going to give a way different look of your bag. You'll have big squares instead of the small. Roxanne says, can you use mini charm pack? Would oh, that be the yeah, two yeah, and a half inch? That's your two and a half it, inch. It's just already cut for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Jeannie is uh, wondering, she goes, I missed. Uh, does it tell you pressing directions? Yes, it does. So there are definite arrows on the stabilizer on what way to press. And when you follow the arrows, everything nests when you sew it together and it makes it so easy. Hang on, I gotta do one more. I didn't get there. Oh, okay. Not it again. Okay, cool. All right, can then if the you next one? no, then oh. you can hand me my. Oh. Whoops, you were okay. Okay. All right. So then you just work your way around, doing your seams, just like what we did. Work your way. Do your four times. Yep, four times. Match up your seams. Okay, Jeff. Okay. When you get all four done, here's what your bag looks like. You have all your seams. Now, on one of your seams, you don't want to sew all the way. You need to leave a turning. Yeah. So somewhere, oh no, that's under the, oh, that's the lining. in the lining. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. So you do want to do that all the way for your inside of your, or your outside of your bag. All right, so that's how you do your outside. For your lining, it's pretty much the same way. We're going to take our four lining pieces. On the other side of our lining pieces, I have cut fusible fleece. 
the exact same mm -hmm. size and I press that on the wrong side of my fabric. So I have four pieces of fabric with fusible fleece. Going to make the L's. Again. We're going to make our L's again. So I take two pieces. That's pretty. See how it make? Isn't that pretty? Mm, that I is love this pretty. fabric. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make an L. So you're just going to sew quarter inch from here to here, and then we'll do the same thing on the other one. Um, Emily is wondering: Can you use our? Can you not use squares and use one solid piece of fabric in four sections? You could if you wanted to. You're wow. just going to be using it like uh, two two inside bags put yeah. together. Yeah. Okay. Um, Connie's in Florida for a few days, so good for you. Very nice. It doesn't sound like it's that warm down in Florida. Though. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah. So then we're going to do the same thing to the other two pieces. We made an L, so a quarter inch. Hi, Bernie. I like having someone to sew for me. <laughs> I could do this all day where I do it, hand it to you, and sew. I, I could do that too. <laughs> But the problem with both of you together, both of you like to talk a lot. So I. So we wouldn't get much sewing. I, I, I don't know. Huh. I wonder if Jen realized I'm sitting, though. <laughs> yeah, hey, Jen, look at this. I'm keeping her occupied. All right. So we lay this out the same way. So it's our same way with our pinwheel, mm -hmm. like our front. Only here. Here's our two seams. We match up the seam. And then, once our seam is matched up, so I'm going to put a little clip there. I think that was the hardest thing to figure out at first when I was making it, this L and then the L and the, the pinwheel. Short and the, yeah. So we're just going to sew from here to here mm -hmm. our quarter inch seam. Okay. And what's nice for everybody that... Uh, is going to be making these at home. You can go back and watch the video Anytime. when you're doing it. So. Martha says it's good to see Carol. Yay. Good morning. It's been a while since Martha's been down. Yes. Is she recuperating? Are you all healed and better, Martha, moving around as good as ever? She's probably going up and down steps faster than we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. So we sewed our four strips together for the, and we're going to do the same thing. Now, you're not going to have those yeah. dotted lines. Right. But this comes over to here. Same as what you did before. So we are just pulling this. So we want this to be hooked. And if you notice, see how it's mm -hmm. a nice, it's the same concept right. as right. what we did for the front. So we just want to make sure we have that. And what I did for this, since you don't have those intersecting lines to know, I again, I start here on this end, mm -hmm. work this way until I get to my previous stitching line, and then I'll tie a tie knot. knot. Yep. Jen okay. says if I wasn't watching, we finally closed forced her into uh, uh, communicating with us this morning, but she goes, if I wasn't watching, I would, it, it, I would hard to believe that she is in one place. <laughs> and, and Martha says healed and still, but still doing foot exercises. Okay, good. Now you said on this, you're going to leave a space on one of them. On one of them, right. So. so when you get to your last one, you're going to leave an opening because this is how you turn it right side out. So you'll do this to all th to three of your pinwheels, then your last one leave a space. 
or else you'll get to your bag and go, huh. <laughs> you can't turn it. <laughs> and I, I've done that before. And it's nice because you don't see that um, close, the seam inside. Right. Okay. Right. And then you're just going to do this the same way. So here we sewed one, then you bring the other one across. So you always check. And you're going to go all the way, all around, the way around, but you're going to leave an opening. So I'll turn your jig in. Okay. So then this is what your bottom looks like. And I've left an opening to turn it right side out. You know, this is like when you're in it watching a cooking show and they put it in the oven and the other one comes out done. <laughs> I know. That's the way to do it, isn't it? So we have our outside of our bag. We have our inside of our bag. Now we have our handles to make. I think I would like it better if we did have something coming out of the oven about right now. <laughs> yes, he would. So in your packet or in your panel, you get two strips for handles and you get four two and a half strips for fabric or for fabric. So two of the fabric strips you put on your stabilizer mm -hmm. and two of your fabric strips you put on your fusible fleece. So then you're going to do right sides together, one with the stabilizer, one with the fusible fleece. And again, it has the markings of a quarter inch all the way down. So you just sew down both sides to do your yeah now I didn't have I did oh, look at what Carol did so she didn't have the two and the two and a half strips she used the five inch squares yeah. Cut on one side yeah. and then you use yeah. the other side as your inside yes. of your bag right that's fun too yeah okay All right. you can do it however you want so we're just gonna sew that quarter inch on both sides of the long side of your handle. Okay. And you would do this to two handles. I'm gonna have to go home and make a couple more of these bags. Oh, of I like them even just for reusable, like to take them to the grocery store. Oh yeah. To get all the plastic Put bags. your groceries in? Yeah. If I remember to take them from the car. Because then we, we don't have all those plastic bags right. to recycle. Right. When I think in Colorado, you have to pay for every bag you get. Oh, some states are like that. Mm -hmm. Keeps all of those plastic bags out of the landfill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's just sewing a quarter inch up the other side. I know why this fly swatter is here now. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't move it too far away. <laughs> no, I thought there can't be any flies in here. <laughs> be here. We, Iowa in the uh, middle of January, there's not too many flies around. <laughs> they say if you have a fly in your house when the weather is cold, like it is in Iowa this time, of year, it's good luck. Yeah. But we don't have a fly. Oh darn. Angelina says in California it costs a dollar for a bag. Okay. That's the same. All right. So once you have this, then you're just turning them right side out. And you can do it with a fly <laughs> swatter or a fancy turner outer gadget, <laughs> whatever you want. So I always just, uh, we'll get that started a little more. And then I just take my fly swatter and turn it out. And if it's going to take too long, guess what? I oh. have one already done up there. Angelina says in California it costs a dollar for a bag. Roxanne, I just said that. Roxanne said their Walmart has done away with all bags. So, so. you have to bring uh, in your own <laughs> bags? Or are they, there's no paper bags either? I am assuming not. So you must have to supply your own. See, look at that. You just yeah. use your fly swatter. <laughs> And you can turn that right side out. Uh, those aren't fun to do. I mean, try to get them. No. Pe Peggy's wondering how many mini charm packs does it take? So you need, yeah. oh, we don't, we have one already done. Okay. Um, so you need 192 squares. 
So there's normally 42 or 40 in a little mini charm pack. So, um, get your math skills out. <laughs> yeah, it's too early in the morning. How for many math. total? How many would you need? How many total do you need? 192. So you're going to need five mini charms. Five mini charms. Or 12 two and a half inch strips cut into squares. Mm -hmm. Debbie says thanks for the video. Now the pattern makes sense. She's going to be finishing hers. So here's the final product. You'll have two handles. Then you can go and top stitch a quarter inch down on both sides. And then I just did a top stitch of about an eighth of an inch on each end. You're not going to see your ends, but you don't want that to unravel. Right. So I just did those ends. All right, so then also here's the outside of my bag. On the corners, remember I said had bottom center or this handle stitching line and then a top point. So you take your handle and I line up that top point to my quarter or my seam at the top. And then this one you're going to want to pin. And it has this handle stitching line. And it has it on the edge and across and up. So you know where your edges of your handles are. And I am just going to pin it. And then I take my other end of my handle come up to my other side, do the same thing, where that top point is my stitching line, and I'm gonna pin it. Jean is helping us out with our math her math this morning. She says 40 times five equals 200. Thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you, Peg. Um, and we're just gonna go to the machine and we're gonna stitch across this uh, handle stitching line, just to hook that in there. Don't sew across the pin. Okay. Because Randy will. Randy, that's. Will come yeah, he after. doesn't like that. Um, Emily says Rhode Island plastic grocery bags are no longer legal to use. Oh, wow. And I, I'm. Every state is going to be like that eventually. It's just some states so you are said ahead. go up too. Nope, no, just, just go across. All the way across. I think I'll just do it a couple times to reinforce it. Okay. R Roxanne says yes, you have to bring your own bags. Uh, so. This is why us sewers are so invaluable yeah. because we can make those bags. And attractive ones. Yes, and attractive <laughs> ones. Not the ugly ones yeah. that they try to sell us at right. the store. Yeah. Okay, do both sides. Um, yeah. Yep, that one. I bet if you went to the farmer's market and were selling those grocery bags, attractive ones, mm -hmm. you could even make some extra money. Oh, yeah. In our spare time. In our, when we don't have <laughs> anything else to do, when all of our projects are done. Alrighty. All right. So we've got the inside of our bag. We have two handles that are attached. So then... We just take our lining and stick it inside our bag. And then we're going to match up all of our corners. This really is a very fun project. Yeah. Margaret says, great bag demo, great scrap buster. Can you go over again what is needed if you use your own fabric? Yes. We, All right. We, we will do that right at the end, probably. Yeah, well, we're I'm almost sorry. done. So, yeah. yeah. So, what you're going to do is, again, there is a quarter inch stitching line all the way around your interfacing. You're just going to, and you're going to want to pin or do as many as you want. You're going to sew all the way around on your stitching line. Then you're going to find your opening. You're going to turn your bag right side out, poke it in. You're good to go. Yeah. And you have a bag that looks like 
So it looks like this. I'm a pinner. But we have the fabric packs in that blue fabric that we had from Tuesday night, the modern blues. Beautiful blue bag, which is what we've been working on. All right, so what we have for you this morning. This is our Mondo Fun Pack. In here, it includes your pattern and one interfacing to make one bag, $24, sold 100. Now, it takes, if you do 12 two and a half inch strips, cut them up, that gives you your 192 squares to make your bag. You can use five inch squares, you can cut your own, however you want. So here is your pattern and your one um, stabilizer. You can also purchase just if you already have the pattern or you want to make more than one bag, you can get another panel of stabilizer, the pre-printed Mondo bag stabilizer. It's $11, right? Yes, it is. Sold 101. And then we are offering the fabric pack. So in our fabric pack, you're going to get 16 two and a half inch strips. You're going to get 12 different colors and then four the same to make your handles. You're going to get a yard and a quarter of your lining fabric. And this is going to be of the blue all in that same line. And a yard and a quarter of usable fleece. $44.99 gets you all the fabric and the fleece that you need to make a bag. So that gives you your... Oh, we lost lights. Can we turn the lights on, Cheryl, please? Oh, I didn't hear the door. Um, oh, I think she was there. Okay. Um, anyway. So uh, now we're sewing in the dark. <laughs> there the lights come on. Okay. Um let's see so yeah so so there was your um what the, you needed for the, the fabric full so. bag or if you want to use your own fabric and go scrappy here is a yard and a quarter of the fusible fleece it is uh twelve dollars and 69 cents yes for a yard and a quarter sold 103 Three. yes all right so that's what we have for you this morning it is free shipping Friday. So if there's anything that you've wanted, now's the time to go. I'm going. And Carol is What did I do here? Yeah. You're just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine says, "Do you sew your opening shut?" Yes. When you turn your bag right side out, yes, then you're going to hand stitch or sew that opening shut. Do you have a lot more to go? Or no. She's getting there. Ah. Uh, Martha's wondering, can you use layer cake packs? Sure, you're just going to cut those into two and a half inch squares. We're making Carol so fast <laughs> this morning. I'm not... You're doing good. The pattern is separate from the uh, fabric and fleece uh, right. combination. Right, so if you're going to do the fabric pack, you would have to get the pattern as well, which is just the pattern and one of your uh, stabilizers um, to make one bag. I got two more sides. Two more little sides. She's almost there. Two more little sides. Almost at the finish line. <laughs> Jeannie, the uh, the um, the pattern number is sold 100, and it is 24 dollars, and that includes one of the, uh, the pattern and one of the stabilizer panels. Yes. So you can go home and finish sewing your other project today when you're done with this. I know. I'm won't be as stressful. <laughs> Valine goes, uh, she's been working, okay. so she missed some, but what does the fleece do? The fleece is just your stabilizer. stabilizer to give some body to your bag. All right, so I'm just going to find that hole, and we're going to pull the whole bag through the hole. Do you like having an audience, too? <laughs> yeah, once we can see. <laughs> 
everybody showed up for work. So now they're standing around watching us as an audience. Uh, Gotta see how pretty this bag is. Deborah says, who do I contact about an order? I thought I ordered a pattern, but I may have ordered from the website and not the app. Um, Call us 712-393-7979 and we can check on that for you. Uh, Marcia, is the demo for adding a hanger strip on the back of a wall hanging still available? Yes, All yes. of our videos are still available. You can go on our Facebook page. Up at the top, there is a little um, tab for videos, and you can go back and watch any video that we have done. You should have left a bigger hole. Yeah, but then that's more that I got to <laughs> sew shut. <laughs> that's more hand sewing. I sewed mine by machine. Yes, I and I... On the inside of the bag, you're really not right, going to see it. Right, who cares? When you have all that stuff in your bag, you're not going to see the thing. That is right. All right, so we're just going to stuff the inside. This is where we would sew that shut. Yeah. But After then... you get all your points. And yep. I'm going to stuff that in there. I just pull the handles out. Put it down in there and put our points out. Beautiful. It is pretty. Very nice. How nice is that? Beautiful. Then, Out of that blue fabric we used last Tuesday. And then did you top stitch I around did your top edge? Stitch mine. You yes, would press this down, top stitch around your edge, and you have a beautiful Mondo bag. How cool is that? <laughs> Super fun to do. And like, you can do it on a weekend. And there's the other color. The truth. Yeah, yeah, so you're going to get a variety of strips that might look a little lighter, might look a little darker, but it'll be all of the same line. All right, any and, other questions? Uh, just a reminder to everybody, if you are not watching this live and you do have a question or a comment, please contact us here at the store because we're not able to uh, monitor our Facebook page 24-7, uh, so we want to be able to answer any questions you might have, so please yeah. contact us here at the store. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to Breakfast with Amy. Thank you, Carol, for being my special guest this morning. <laughs> You're welcome. It was fun. And uh, if you have any questions, you can call us or you can email me at amy at wisemonkeyquilting.com and we'll take care of you. Take care, everybody. Bye. Have a